Monday, March 18th marks the start of Game Developers Conference 2019. Goddard Sutra will have reporters at the Moscow Play Center in San Francisco, bringing you breaking news along with coverage from developer sessions and interviews throughout the course of the week. DD 2019 takes place March 18th minus 22 at the Moscow Play Center in San Francisco. For more details on DDC 2019, visit the show's official website or subscribe to your regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, or bring your team to DD. Register a group of 10 or more and save 10% in conference passes. Learn more each year. Goddard Sutra and DD are sibling organizations under parent company Informa. The 2019 Game Developers Conference will feature an exhibition called Doctor GDCDEDICATEDTOGAMES that use alternative control schemes and interactions. Goddard Sutra will be talking to the developers of each of the games that have been selected for the showcase. Hell countless players playing with seating arrangements, performing the sacred but ritual. In order to free a demon from a couch, through a shuffling where they sit with a friend or stranger, they can complete the ritual and maybe learn a little bit about personal space and breaking down barriers. Gunnar Sutta spoke with Carol Mertz and Francesca Carletto Layton about the challenges of turning a couch into an input device, how they look to bring a little silliness out of strangers and how they designed their game to look into feelings of comfort around strangers and the deep thoughts we often put into where we sit down in public. With our Carol Mertz and Francesca Carlet Olay on, we collaborated on everything for help of, including game design, software development, hardware fabrication, and audio design. Help of is the first ever couch cooperative game. Where the couch is the controller, you have to team up with a friend or friends to perform the sacred but ritual to release the demon trapped inside of the couch. Players follow the demon's instructions, moving their butts from cushion to cushion to successfully exercise the couch. Carol sat down one day and made a list of theme ideas that we could apply to couch-centric gameplay. And as soon as she wrote down the word, help out, she decided that it was the design hero to die on. She could be heard screaming, help out, over and over for an entire week, and Francesca could not say no to that level of enthusiasm. Our car design values going into the project were to make something cooperative that was fun to both play and watch and that really embraced the couch as an input medium. We worked on the project under Bennett Fortis' advisement at the new game center, where he pointed us toward other projects that play with spatial negotiation, Copenhagen Game Collectives B, U, P, P, O, N, and sitting as gameplay, B in both cost school meditation. After reflecting on these projects and the ways that people interact with couches both in their own homes and in public spaces, we started thinking about simple interactions that could translate to fun gameplay. Sitting on negotiating space with friends and strangers is actually a really interesting design space. So we designed a simple game that makes people compromise on where, how, and when to sit. Turns out that when a bunch of folks are dancing on a cheap couch, it breaks. We have had to reinforce our couch quite a bit to make sure that it can support regular gameplay. On top of that, we have to consider how and where it will be positioned, how and where people will sit on the cushions, and how we can support accessible gameplay for diverse bodies. It's also have it and we have had to move it a lot, which was definitely not the most fun part of development. Working with large furniture is a huge challenge. Folks do not tend to sit close to each other on couches, unless it's the 
only space available, a uh, half course, if they are cattle bodies. So the idea that players have to sit next to each other and bounce back and forth between close and more comfortable distances forces players to acknowledge and negotiate each other's physical presence. It's interesting seeing how some folks avoid sitting close to other people at all costs, and how others have absolutely no issue with sitting near uh -uh, their friends. We both feel strongly about the power of play as a tool to encourage vulnerability and connection. While help out does not necessarily seem like an intimate game on the surface, it does make far an interesting space for physical collaboration, which can lead to unexpected moments. We are really happy with the emergent player behavior we have seen in all of our playtests. It's a challenge. At first glance, Hellcout is designed to look like just a regular couch, so players do not necessarily enter into it with the expectation of being silly and letting their guard down. We did not design an attract mode, and were careful to keep any indication of it being a possessed, caught, hidden until someone sits down. As soon as a bot hits a cushion, though, players are met with a loud thunderclap demonic cackling, and a fiery array of lights, and when the game starts, solo sitters have to face the fact that they are not going to be able to play alone, so they need to figure out how to get another butt up in the game. This theme and sound design are meant to set the stage for humor and joyful play. The first guidance players get is a disembodied demonic voice, declaring that they need to perform the sacred but ritual, which often makes players giggle, or raise a eyebrow. The game only takes about 19 seconds to play, but often by the end folks get very comfortable embracing their role. As a goofy demon liberator, we are both graduating this May with a master in fine arts degree in game design from the new game center, so we have spent the last two years creating lots of games. Carol's background before new is in multidisciplinary interactive design and has published a card game, several digital vignette games, and was the narrative designer and character artist. A PS4 PC James McGillcraft. Francesca's background is in 3D art and digital game design and is the 3D artist and narrative designer. Of the upcoming PC games are crossed. We have both dabbled a bit in experimental hardware design, but this is our first major alternative controller project. We used Arduino and Unity, and bridged the two with the Arduino plugin. The physical components are actually pretty simple beyond the couch itself. We are using LED lights and homemade pressure sensors, as cumbersome as the couches. We wanted to make sure that the components were simple and portable, so that we could easily rebuild it for on-location installations. Unique controllers do a lot for games, they question the status quo, and open up an exciting space for game design. Alternative controllers can encourage joyful and inhibited play, giving players a chance to fully embody their role in the game. They can produce unique situations that bring people together, forge new connections, introduce new ideas, and inspire new ways of playing. The couch was a fun place to explore all of these ideas. It gives a not a more traditional couch co-op games, while subverting expectations by turning a mundane object into a completely new way to play with others. After months and months of discussion and by the rumors, GameStop's part of the actors has put a kibosh on plans to sell the company off. The decision, according to a statement issued by the company, comes as a result of a lack of the sort of financing terms that would be appealing to a prospective buyer. Instead, GameStop is now looking toward the funds it gained from the 700 and $25 million sale of its spring motor business earlier this year to drive growth.
potentially by paying off debt, funding share repurchases, or reinvesting in its car video game and collectibles businesses. All these options are up in the air. However, as the company continues to evaluate its options, rumors about potential buyers have been circulating since GameStop first confirmed it had been in exploratory discussions with private equity firms last summer, with the most recent being one from a few weeks back that said Sycamore Partners under Palo Global Management were in the process of bidding on the company at the time. Sources said the sale could close in February, but given today's statement,